everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I will be testing the new set of 36 acrylic markers from Artex and showing you how to use them to save ruined sketchbook pages by bleed through the alcohol markers to the other side. I'm sure you will agree that this will make our sketchbook look even more attractive and it means we can't waste a single page. I just want to thank you all at Artex so much for giving me the opportunity to work with you again. As I am sure you know, I love acrylics and gouache techniques, so the acrylic markers from Artex are currently my absolute favorite art supplies. So let's see how the new set performs this time and how they compare to other sets I've tested before. Let's start with the packaging itself, as I think this is the most beautiful design of all the marker sets. You know me, I love pastel colors and cute things, so when I saw the color scheme as well as those cute little flowers on the box, I was delighted because it really pleases my eye. On the back of the box are swatches of all the colors in the set, as well as detailed instructions on how to use the markers, which I will come back to in a moment. Let's take a look inside. Here we find a thank you card and two levels of marker trays. Look, even the markers have little flowers on them, isn't that cute? It's an interesting solution, by the way, because with these flowers we can look inside the marker and see how much paint is left. What's more, I admire the Artex brand for taking feedback from others on how to improve their markers. In this case, I am talking about the stickers that used to be attached to the markers for color identification. In this set there are no stickers, the color labels are already printed on the markers. I was really pleasantly surprised. Plus, we've even printed a short set of instructions on each of the markers. I've noticed one little thing about the packaging that I think could be improved. It's a bit tricky to pull out the first level of the marker tray. I love long nails and found it a bit of a challenge, so I think a good solution would be to put little ribbons on the sides so you can pull on them and pull the first level out of the packaging without any problems. Before we get to the color swatch, let's get to the instructions. Shake the markers before each use. And that's about all you need to do. There was no need to do anything to activate the acrylic markers in this set, the ink just flowed out by itself. With other types of markers, I have often had the problem that if you press the tip of the marker down to activate it, the ink flows out too much, leaving huge stains and a mess everywhere. In this case, there is no such problem and for me it is a huge advantage that all you have to do is shake the marker before use. We also have a note on the packaging to close the cap before shaking the marker to prevent ink splashes. I made a sample pattern and printed it on mixed media paper so you can see what each color looks like. I think the 36 basic colors are enough to create something really interesting. What's more, the colors in each shade work well together, so you can get the effect you want when adding depth to your drawing. The colors are incredibly saturated and I feel the finish is more matte than the 60A and 60B sets. As I am mainly creating characters, I would have swapped one of the greys for a different shade of beige to color the skin, as the colors available are either too yellow or too pink, making it harder to achieve the desired effect. In the end, I managed to color the skin, but I don't know if it will show in the video, it came out a little too pink. On the other hand, it makes the drawing look very consistent in color. I'm really pleased with the choice of colors in this set, 
Artex has done a great job. What makes this set stand out from the rest is, first and foremost, its new design. The latest design gets rid of the wear and tear on the pen tip caused by pressing, increases the fun of shaking and has super strong covering power. That's what we can see on the shop's website and it's true, the marker tip in this set is much more resistant to wear and tear than other sets. The paint flows seamlessly out of the marker, so we don't have to use force by pressing the tip too hard to release the paint. This is a huge advantage of these acrylic markers. As far as better coverage is concerned, it seems to me that it is just as good as the 60A and 60B sets. I specifically chose a page like this in the sketchbook to see how the acrylic markers would manage to cover the ink from the alcohol markers bleeding through to the other side, as well as the carbon paper. See for yourself, the markers did the job perfectly. Depending on the color, I applied two to three layers to best cover the damaged page. I used three layers for the lighter colors and two layers for the darker colors. I thought I might have a bit of a problem with the white, but I was pleasantly surprised. I also needed three layers of white to cover all the imperfections. The white marker has really good coverage and you can see absolutely nothing of what is underneath. While we are at it, let's talk about the main theme of the episode, bleeding through alcohol markers all over the page. I've told you more than once that I don't like wasted space or ruined sketchbook pages, so I came up with the idea of using acrylic markers to cover the entire page with bleed through ink. I prepared the sketch digitally first and planned out my color distribution. This is what you can see in the video right now. Someone once asked me how I create a sketchbook spread composition that looks so good and consistent. I do it just like this. I sketch on my iPad first where it's easier for me to move the different elements around and choose the best option to realize. Usually, I use a light pad to redraw such a drawing into my sketchbook, but in this case with another drawing already underneath, I had to use carbon paper. Carbon paper can't be erased, so I checked how the acrylic markers would handle covering the redrawn composition. As you can see, they did great. They have really amazing coverage. I still love that they would be perfect to cover even life's mistakes. It was important to me that another page of drawings made with alcohol markers was left untouched. You will find out everything at the end of the video, in the meantime I won't spoil anything, stay tuned until the end. High chroma paint has high coverage, waterproof and wear resistance and can be applied to any surface. Acrylic markers can be used on paper, wood, ceramic, canvas, plastic, glass and even eggs. Artex acrylic paint pens are water-based ink. These paint pens flow without flooding or jamming and will last forever after drying. The paint from the acrylic markers dries very quickly, but slower than, for example, the markers in the 60A and 60B sets. And to be honest, this is the biggest advantage of this set for me, because it is much easier to mix colors together when this drying time is a little longer, but not too long. Blending the colors with this set of acrylic markers was much easier and a lot of fun for me. As you may have noticed at the beginning of the coloring in the video, I was going to do this sketchbook spread in a cell shading style, but I quickly changed my mind and went for a soft shading. This was a great decision because it allowed me to experience the joy of blending these colors. 
the brush tip ranges in size from 1 mm to 3.5 mm. The marker tip is very precise, but I still use a very small sketchbook and my drawings are very detailed and small, so I still use a brush and gouache to create thin contour lines. What else has changed? Uniform ink flow control, smooth drawing, no ink waste and precise control of ink flow. When I was painting, I had a problem with one of the pink markers because sometimes the ink would run out of the marker too much, leaving smudges on the drawing and the hood would stay on. I don't know what's causing this as the other markers are fine and it's just this one marker that's behaving differently to the rest. The markers glide smoothly, are themselves lightweight and feel good in the hand. I am absolutely thrilled with this set and the improved design. I thought the 60A and 60B sets were already perfect for me, but it turns out they can get even better. I also wish the set in today's video had a more extensive color scheme, just like the 60B with the same shades. I'm a huge fan of them. In celebration of its 9th anniversary, the Artex brand is offering its customers the best price, so be sure to have a look at their shop today. In the description below this video you will find all the information you need, links and special discount codes, so be sure to check it out. From acrylic markers to sketchbooks, the Artex shop has lots of quality art supplies at great prices. I would like to thank Artex once again for the opportunity to work with you. I really love your products and it is a pleasure to test them. I enjoy sharing my feelings about the products with my viewers as well as special discount codes. Besides, my viewers love the Artex product reviews on my channel, don't they? I am looking forward to my next collaboration with Artex and I will have the opportunity to do so in the near future. Stay tuned! As I said, at the end you can see what the drawing looks like underneath and whether it has survived. The acrylic markers don't show through to the other side and they don't have a lot of water in them, so the drawings I did with the alcohol markers stayed just as they were. The paper didn't even wrinkle, so if you like aesthetically pleasing sketchbooks and don't like wasting space in them, get the acrylic markers from Artex. I guarantee you will be thrilled. I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. See you soon, bye!